Hello everyone, thank you very much for checking out my first movie review of what I'm hoping is going to be a lot more. And today I'm going to be talking about 10 Cloverfield Lane. Ugh, who the hell was that bozo? everybody and welcome to my two year anniversary video you know it's really funny watching that very first video that i did just seeing how completely wooden and nervous i was whereas compared to now where it's like a whole new me so two years ago to this very day i uh, launched my first video uh, after my girlfriend and i were sitting on the couch and we came across a whole bunch of movie reviewers on youtube like chris stuckman jeremy johns all the big ones and at the time she said to me you should be doing this like you know you love talking about movies i can't shut you up etc and i was just kind of thinking to myself like eh would anyone really be interested so I posted this on Facebook and after getting a whole bunch of people who were all like oh my god yeah you should be doing it and stuff and a few people said what have you got to lose which I thought to myself well yeah what have I got to lose so I went and saw 10 Cloverfield Lane and I wrote a whole bunch of notes so it looked like I knew what I was talking about uh, and yeah sat there and it was just the weirdest thing talking to an inanimate object and you know funny thing I remember after doing my first review or actually during the first review uh, my girlfriend was saying to me that I needed to come up with something uh, like Chris Stuckman did uh, at the end of his videos he always says and if you like this you can click right here and get Stuckmanized and she was like oh you need some sort of a catchphrase and I was like eh, no I don't and that whole thing that came out at the end where I said I like to talk about movies and I would love to talk about movies with you uh that was completely just off the top of my head but i thought yeah that works i like it and yeah as you can probably tell from my first videos like i just didn't it didn't feel like i was really connecting with anyone i just felt like i was talking to a thing which is why i was talking like this and thank you so much for watching my review and <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, so it wasn't until I started, you know, connecting with a few other film fans and getting some feedback from people and things like that, and yeah, it started feeling more natural, and wow, what a journey this last two years has been. I remember one of my good friends at the very start said to me, uh, yeah, you know, go have fun with this thing, but make sure you got a thick skin for the trolls out there, and look, I was, I was expecting it, you know, I thought, it's cool, I can handle it. But to this day, after two years, over 200 videos on this channel, I have only ever had one comment from a douchebag, if you will. I mean, this whole time, everybody has been so completely awesome and just made this whole thing so much more enjoyable. And looking at my analytics today, like this is what it looks like, my ratios of likes to dislikes on my videos. Now, I'm not trying to brag here or anything like that, but this is just pointing out the fact that there are so many amazing people out there who understand that even if we have different opinions about movies, it's totally fine, we can still be friends. And I want to mention there's a guy named Kerry Hetzel. Hope I said your name right. Uh, when I released my review of The Last Jedi, uh, this guy vehemently disagreed with everything that I said. He hated the movie. But he wrote to me in such a civilized way and we got chatting about what I liked and what he didn't like and, uh, you know, we were sort of comparing notes and stuff and we've become friends ever since. And I just think that's so awesome. I mean, you know, he presented his argument in such a civilized way. It wasn't like, you suck for liking this movie when I didn't. You're a piece of crap. Yeah, there's just been so many people like that. And yeah, it just really means so much to me. It's what keeps this channel going. It's not so much, I mean, I love all the positive feedback you guys give me because I really am a bit of an introvert. I, I do kind of have low self-esteem. And, you know, when I read all these awesome comments and stuff from you guys like I really take it to heart and it just means the absolute world to me and it keeps this channel going because I've always wanted to try and make it informative and entertaining I actually never wanted to come across as a film critic uh, the sole reason why I really started this channel is because back in the 90s uh, there was a good friend of mine who ran a comic book shop and we used to hang out there several days a week like all day
day long just talking about movies and video games, comic books, music, uh, just all pop culture stuff. And I really miss those days. You know, it was fun engaging with people and, and talking about this kind of stuff. And so I started this channel, uh, you know, not so much to be a movie critic because I never believe that my opinion is the one opinion you should trust at all. I will give you my opinion. The rating at the end is, yeah, it's just a thing just to let you know what I think of it. Um, but yeah, it's more a case of just getting you guys talking about movies with me, which you have, and I love it. So along the way with this incredible journey that I've been having, uh, you know, once the channel got up and running and the ball started rolling and things started happening, uh, I think the first thing really was one day when I went to my local cinema and they recognized me from the channel and asked me if I wanted to help out with a program that got coming up hosting classic movie nights. And initially it was going to be a thing where they were going to put me in front of a camera like this to talk about the movie which was going to get played on the big screen which would have been kind of daunting but then they said no we'll get you and a couple of other YouTubers along to talk in front of the audience and yeah I was a bit like uh, uh, yeah public speaking cool. And so my channel got to be a sponsor for this program, which was amazing. Uh, you know, we had movies like the first two Die Hard films, Aliens, Point Break, Jaws, all these classic movies on the big screen. And just, you know, seeing my channel logo attached to that stuff, uh, yeah, it was just mind blowing. Plus I got to cut some trailers for it, which got played on the big screen uh, in front of pretty much every movie. So that was also a bonus. And along the way, my really awesome friend, Susan Bush from Cinemum, who unfortunately Unfortunately, doesn't do her YouTube channel anymore, which I wish she would because she was brilliant at it. Uh, she kind of hooked me up with media accreditation through the big distributors like uh, Warner Brothers, Paramount, Universal, etc. And I started getting invites to media screenings and stuff, which, yeah, again, was another huge thing for me. And that in turn led to uh, me getting an email saying, do you want to apply for the red carpet press section of the Thor Ragnarok uh, premiere, which... Uh, yeah, I honestly, I submitted my application almost as a joke. I mean, seriously, I thought I had no way in hell of actually getting into this thing. But uh, yeah, the day before it was happening, I get a phone call and they're like, congratulations, you're part of the press thing. And I'm just like, wow. I mean, I was just some dork who was sitting on his couch talking about movies to a camera and putting it on YouTube. And then all of a sudden I'm on this red carpet and there's Chris Hemsworth and Taika Waititi and stuff. And uh, yeah, that in turn led to my subscriber count going up significantly, which in a way was a bit of a shame because I was looking forward to getting my 1000 subscriber milestone. And I was going to do something big for that, but yeah, that happened. And amongst all the other amazing things, uh, it's kind of led to uh, actually tomorrow something is happening, which I haven't really told too many people about, but I'm going to tell you right now. As of tomorrow, I'm actually going to be kind of a semi-professional movie reviewer. Uh, there's an online publication I've been working for as a sub-editor called Independent Australia, which you should check out. And I've submitted my first movie review, uh, which they really like, and so they're going to start publishing my movie reviews on there, which, uh, yeah, is pretty damn awesome. It's kind of one step closer to elevating this from a hobby to actually, you know, sort of a professional kind of a thing, because look, I don't know where this is all going. I mean, I consider myself a filmmaker first and foremost, but I really like doing this as well. And I've often said to people, like, if I had a choice, if you, if you said to me one day you can either be a, a successful filmmaker or a film reviewer, like, which would you be? I'd be like, that'd be the best response I could give you. Um, yeah, so who knows where this is all going, but I'm just having fun now, you know, and that's the main thing. Like, I really love doing this and more and more, like right now, I don't feel like I'm talking to a camera anymore. I feel like I'm talking to you. But I want to give a big thank you to a lot of people who have just made this so awesome. I mean, there's tons of you out there who have given me so much great feedback and, you know, positive comments and stuff like that, which I've absolutely loved. But there's particularly like a bunch of uh, other YouTube reviewers who I just want to give a shout out and a thank you to. So I'm going to start off by mentioning Matt the Collector. This is a guy who was pretty much the first one who ever contacted me and started chatting to me online. And uh, yeah, so that was really cool. That kind of, you know, made me start thinking, oh, there's people out there who are listening. Also, I want to give a shout out to Adam and Steve from Screencrawler. These are a couple of guys from the UK 
who are just brilliant at what they do. They're also the kind of guys who don't come across as film critics, they're just a couple of dudes who go to the movies and I really respect that about them. And their sense of humour is just something that I can completely relate to, so definitely check those guys out. And on the subject of YouTube duos who uh, feature someone named Steve, the guys from Rewind Replay who are fellow Australians, um, yeah, their channel is awesome. I was loving their reviews, but they've recently revamped their channel and they do an episode each weekend now, which is almost a half hour long episode, so you're getting some great content there. And they're just such likeable guys, and yeah, I've had some really great chats with them, uh, not just about movies, but music and stuff as well. Uh, yeah, definitely check those guys out. They're really worth it. There have been a few others who I've sort of had brief conversations with. Uh, Michael Wynn Johnson from Real School, Leah Hatha who does a lot of stuff on uh, Facebook in terms of organizing groups of uh, us film reviewers to get together and, and share our stuff into a big community. Jacob Blunden from Take 3 Productions who's been a co-host uh, on the Niche 230 things who I've really appreciated his assistance and yeah his channel is absolutely fantastic. And Scott Dunbar from Darrow Films who uh, he's, a, he's a really great up-and-coming filmmaker and yeah I've just really appreciated all the comments and chats that we've had. And I've got to give a big thank you to my friend Chandler Langley, uh, whose channel is now called, I think it's Chandler's Videos? We've done a couple of collaborations in the past where rather than just filming separate segments and editing them together, we came up with this system where, uh, like I was putting my phone underneath my camera here uh, and having him on Facebook Messenger so we can talk live. And so our collaborations that we did have been live chats, which I just think works so much better. But I've had an absolute blast doing stuff with him and we're going to do another one coming up when Solo comes out because we're both really big Star Wars fans. And I have got to give a massive shout out and thank you to my friend Tony aka Captain Cinema. This guy, um, yeah, I mean of everybody who I've had little sort of chats with and stuff, this guy I talk to almost on a daily basis and we know each other really well by now. And this is the sort of guy who, when you mention to him that there's a, a Star Wars Black Series figure after that's an exclusive to Walgreens, I think it was, in the US, this guy will go out at midnight driving around to a couple of different ones looking for it for you. I mean, who the hell does that? This guy is awesome. Uh, his channel, uh, yeah, he, he sort of handles more obscure movies and sort of trashy kind of films, B-grade stuff, but I love that he's got his own niche. I love that he's doing his own thing, and he is just such an amazing guy, so definitely check out his channel. And also a massive shout out and thank you to my friend Fraser Jubb from Scotland, who who uh, is a fellow YouTube movie reviewer and filmmaker. And this guy's just been accepted into the same film school that Gareth Edwards, who did Rogue One and Godzilla, went to. So, uh, yeah, I'd say keep an eye out for this guy. His stuff is really good, and I can only imagine where he's going to be going in the future. But this guy I've loved chatting to because our tastes and everything are so eerily similar. Uh, and, yeah, you know, so it's just that kind of thing where you meet a kindred spirit, and, yeah, he's a really great guy to talk to. And, uh, yeah, we've also got a collaboration coming up soon for a film that we both love. I'm not going to tell you what it is, so stay tuned for that one. And last but very far from least, uh, uh, my friend Justin, uh, aka Film Reviews with Jay the Bald Guy. Uh, I've known this guy for many years outside of YouTube, but I've got to give his channel a shout out because he is so good at what he does. And I think he, he needs more views, he needs more subscribers to keep him going. So uh, head on over to his channel, check it out. All these people I've mentioned, I'm going to be dropping links to everybody's channel in the description box below, so you can head on down there and check them all out for yourself. And not to mention a huge thank you as well to the people outside of YouTube. Uh, Taylor, Jacob, Craig, Alex, all these people who come along to the niche screenings who I've just loved getting to know you guys and, and talking to you and stuff. Uh, it's, yeah, just, just everybody who has helped make this channel what it is. I am so grateful to everyone. But above all, I have really got to give the biggest thank you to Trudy Martin, who was the one who inspired me to do all of this. Uh, she was the one who said to me, you should be doing this. And I was like, no. And she was like, yes, you should. And yeah, she gave me so much invaluable assistance. Like she would uh, you know, watch every video that I made before I published it online just to check that I was doing all right. Um, and yeah, God, her support 
was just beyond anything that I could really express gratitude for. So I don't know if she's watching this, but yeah, big thanks to her. So that being said, I'm gonna wrap this up for now. Uh, if there's anything you wanna know about what I've been doing over the last couple of years, throw me some questions down below. I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, in the meantime, I'm heading off to see Tomb Raider because I can't wait to see it and do a review of it. And then following that, I've got a screening of The Big Lebowski that I gotta to host tonight as part of the Niche 230 program. Program and oh my god so busy but for now massive thank you to everyone who supported my channel for making it what it is they say it takes five years for a channel to become successful um yeah look these past two years i already feel like it's successful uh just yeah i've just been having so much fun and really appreciating everything and i can't wait to see what happens in the five year mark because believe me I ain't planning on stopping. In the meantime, drop me some comments below. Uh, yeah, just tell me anything. I don't even care. Just say hello or whatever you want to do. Drop me some comments either here or on Facebook. All the social media links are in the description below because I like to talk about movies and I would love to talk about movies with you. I'll catch you next time. Click subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest movie reviews. Skynet will be taking over any day now. So what have you got to lose? Nah.